We mean mix. You cannot be any of those. So we cannot be any I'm of those. I'm also Puerto Rican, so I cannot be any No, you're, 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 you're one or the other. You're one or the other. Why? Because the Bible says we're going to get into that. That's where my family mix. No, 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 we're going to show you why. We're going to show you why. It's impossible for somebody to be mixed. Now, do you mix? Okay, he got it. Stay on Revelation 11, verse 8. Numbers, chapter 1, verse 8, 18. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. Read on. And they declared their pedigrees. Their pedigrees mean the ancestral lineage. The lineage by who? And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. By the families, by the house of the fathers. Right. It goes through your father's nationality. It goes through your father. So my father's American black. If my mom was a, my mom's a, a so-called West Indian from the tribe of Benjamin, so guess what tribe I'm gonna be? If it's from my father, what tribe am I gonna be? From the tribe of Judah. Judah. It goes by your father, sis. Sis. That's a part of repentance. You must be born again. You must be born again. Give me, drop that. Give me second entrance 14 verse 34. What? Because we've been li learned lies in the educational system. Everything we've been taught has been taught from our slave masters. We must do this one thing. Read it. Second Ezra 13. 14. 14 and verse 34. Uh -huh. Therefore, if so be that, you will be subdue your own understanding. So, says, so you must subdue everything you learn in America. Everything you learn, you must subdue it. Why? Because America is a city of lies. It's a city of confusion. But that was a confusion state you just said. Because what? If you take an apple seed, if you mingle it with an uh, orange seed, is it going to come out an uh, apple orange tree? It's impossible. The man shoots the seed. So if you take an apple seed and put it in the earth, guess what? You're going to get an apple tree. It's impossible to mingle two seeds. It's not possible. The man has a seed. A woman doesn't carry a seed. It goes to the lineage of your father. Read that. Therefore, if so be that, you will subdue your own understanding. If you so-called blacks and Hispanics, subdue your own understanding. Subdue all the lies you've been taught in America. Read on. And reform your heart. And reform your heart mean your mind. You must change your mind. Change to what? The Bible. Change to the understanding of the laws of God. Read on. You shall be kept alive. You shall be kept alive. Because you're dead right now. You shall be kept alive. Because the law is going to bring you to life. Read on. And after death, you shall... After death. After America is destroyed. Because America will be destroyed by nuclear firehead. Read on. And after death, you shall obtain mercy. We shall obtain mercy. Now, we shall reform. He said reform. Get me Psalms 19 verse 7. And also get me... Um, get me Sirach 17 verse 11. So we must reform our mind. How do we reform our mind? How do we change? It's a process. God has to answer for all of our questions. He does. Read that. Psalms 19 and verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. God says, God says the law of God is perfect. It's only one perfect thing. That's the law. You can't be perfect. We must, because people got to say in the world that what? You can't be perfect. They, they say you can't be perfect according to who standards? The white man standards. But God is showing that what? There is a certain level of perfection that you can meet by doing what? The law of the Lord is perfect. By the, the law of God is per perfect. Read on. Converting the soul. It's going to convert you. If you're a homosexual, that's what it's going to do. It's going to say, thou shalt not lie with mankind as a man, woman, as a woman, sorry. A man should not lie with mankind as he lie with womankind. It's the brother's going to see that law and he's going to change. Why? Because God says it. Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Everything that we bring out this Bible is true. Slavery is in the Bible. Stick around. We're going to get that. Read on. Make it wise the simple. Since, because what? You might have been ignorant to what you were saying. Just like one point, I was saying all types of foolish things. But guess what? God under showed me the understanding that what? Without God's laws, I am simple. So what is God's laws to us? Give me Sirach 17 verse 11. Give me that. Uh -huh. Sirach 17 verse 11. Uh -huh. Beside this, he gave them knowledge uh -huh. and the law of life for our heritage. And God gave us knowledge. Now it's what? The Bible. And the law of what? And the law of life for inheritance. And the law of life. Because remember, 
Without the law, you're what? You're what? You're doomed to commit crimes. Yeah, you're dead. You don't have guidance. Okay. Yes, you're dead. You're dead. Without the law, you're what? You're dead. So the law of life, that's going to give us guidance. So let's get some laws that give us guidance. Now, there's something they say in America. They have delicates. Or well, what is those things? The foods? It says delicacies. Give me Rome, um, Leviticus 11. Do, do you eat pork? Do you eat shrimp? No? What about you? Do you eat pork? Do you eat shrimp? You do, right? It's good, right? All right, let's see what God said. Remember, without the law, you're dead. But that's why a lot of our people in our decayed state, they got gout in their feet. They suffer from high cholesterol. But those foods they eat is going to not only spirit, but the law, you're not only spiritually dead, but you're sooner or later, you're physically going to be, end up dead. Why? These animals can lead to diseases. <laughs> the shrimp, the, those are scavengers. Lobsters, those are scavengers. The crab, the scavengers. Pink, the scavengers. They clean, they clean the earth. So give me Leviticus 11 verse 46. So without the law, you're dead. Read it. Leviticus 11 46. Uh, read it. This is the law of the beast. This is the law of the beast. The animals that got put on this earth. Read on. And of the fowl, and, and the birds, and the birds that you can eat, read on. And of every living creature, and every living creature, read on. That moveth in the waters, that moveth in the water, read on. And of every creature that creepeth upon the earth, uh huh, read on. To make a difference, breathe. To make a difference between the unclean, to make a difference between the unclean. God is showing the separation between animals. He has an animal that's unclean. Because what? Has a certain purpose on its earth. To clean the earth. Read on. To make a difference between the unclean and the clean. And the clean. God is making a difference. The foods that you may eat. Give me verse 7. Uh huh. Leviticus 11 and verse 7. Uh huh. What foods are we able to eat according to the Bible? And what foods are we able, are we not allowed to eat? Read it. And the swine. And the swine, meaning the domesticated pig. That you so-called blacks and Hispanics love. You know what? So he divided the hook. So the pig divided the hook. You know what? And he clubbed for it. Uh -huh. Yes, he chose not to cut. He chose not to cut. That's what? A cow chose to cut. Meaning, whatever he eats, he swallows it, and he has different compartments on his stomach to cleanse the food. He regurgitates the food, and he throws it up, and swallows it again. The cow, these animals have a cleaning system. God made a cleaning system in these animals, so what? When we eat it, we're not eating poisonous food. You know what? He is unclean to you! He is unclean to you, because a pig will eat what? They will eat dead bodies. They will eat crap. They will eat anything you put in front of it. Now a sheep, a sheep, if you in the water, guess what? It won't even drink that water. Because God is showing you what? The difference between the clean and the unclean. The, the, the animal manifests itself in front of everybody. The scavenge, the lobster. He's on the ground for what? For a purpose. To clean the ground. God is showing you the difference between the clean and the unclean. Give me the other verse. Verse 9. Verse 9. Uh-huh. These, these shall ye eat uh -huh. of all that are in the waters whatsoever have fins and scales God in the water. Says, now, now the fish that are in the water, these shall you eat that has what? That have fins and scales that in the water. That fins and scales in the water. Any fish that has fins and scale, you can eat. Guess what does have fins and scale? You have the catfish that has fins and scale. What else some fish that shows fins and scale? Kingfish. Shark does have uh, fins and scale. Kingfish. Swordfish does have skin. Dolphins. Kingfish. Kingfish. All these fishes don't have fins and scales. Read on. In the seas. And the so seas, God. read on. And in the rivers. And read on. Them shall ye eat. Then you can eat that have fins and scales. Read on. And all that have not fins and scales. And all those fishes that have not fins and scales. Read on. In the seas uh -huh. and in the rivers uh -huh. of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, this shall be an abomination unto you. It's an abomination unto you. So if you've been eating shrimp, if you eat a lobster, crabs, all these things that doesn't have fins and scales, be eating the pork. Guess what? What should you do? What should you do? What's your next step? What's your next step? Huh? What do you say? 
Stop eating. Stop, thank you. Stop eating it. Plus, if you don't stop eating, give me Toronto 28 for 61. This is what's gonna happen. Because what? When we rebel against God's laws, guess what happens? This happens. Don't anything you take that's simple to you. It's important, it's very important to the most high God. God takes this very simple seriously. You think what? We put ourselves in slavery? We were warriors. We were kings on this earth at one point time. How could a nation overthrow us as a whole? What like what's your what's your what tribe are you from? What's your nationality? Dominican Cuban. Dominican Cuban. What's your father? Um, Dominican. So you will be for the tribe of Simeon. And you are what your father is. You know what, what the Simeonites, the so-called Dominicans, were a warrior. They were a mighty tribe. The Ephraimites, the so-called Puerto Ricans. We are strong as a people. We are warriors. We are kings. How can a whole nation overthrow us? If there hasn't been a power to allow them to do that. God allowed them to do this to us. Give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 61. Deuteronomy 28 61. Also, also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. Uh -huh. Then will the Lord bring upon thee. God says, which we did again from the beginning. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book. God of this says every sickness and every plague. That is not written in the book of the law. Because what? If you look at the statistics on this earth, who is amongst the, what the, the most rated people to have AIDS? Blacks and Hispanics. Who is amongst the most rated people to have um, gout? To have high cholesterol? Blacks and Hispanics. Diabetes. Diabetes. Blacks and Hispanics. It's not a coincidence. We are under the curses of the Bible. The Bible it's our nationality. It's our history book. It's our constitution. Because we broke God's laws, this happened to us. Let's get the curses. Get verse 15. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. God said it shall come to pass. Speaking to Moses, to the Israelites. It shall come to pass that what? If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I mean a future prophecy is going to come to pass to what? If we don't obey the voice of the Lord God. What is God's voice? Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. If we didn't observe to do all his commandments, like, sis, we brought out what? A woman shouldn't wear pants, right? We brought out what else? You're not supposed to eat shrimp, lobster. There's four commandments that we're going to bring out to you. Read on. In his statutes, which I command thee this day. Read on. That all these curses. That all these curses will do what? Shall come upon thee. Will come upon you, so-called blacks and Hispanics. The curses of the Bible has come upon you. We have been living and walking specimens of the curses of God. Read on. And overtake thee. And we have been overtaken by the curse. We have been overtaken by the curses of the Bible. Read on. Verse 16. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Curse shall thou be in the city. Uh oh. Curse shall thou be in the city. There goes one of the curses. Look at the Bronx. Look what happened to Trayvon Martin. Were we not cursed in the city? What? A white man to come and shoot a little black boy in the street. Is that not a curse? And we got wait, no justice, no peace for us. There's no justice for peace. Why? It's God trying to wake the so-called black Hispanics up. That this America is a place when, when we're not we're not supposed to be free in this place. We're not supposed to get peace and justice here. This is the place where we're supposed to acknowledge our sin and return back to the Bible. This is the place of punishment. Read on, verse 16 again. Curse! Shall thou be in the city? Who was the last person to get hired in jobs? Blacks and Hispanics. We're cursed in the city. Why is there gum on the floor? You go in the white neighborhood, there's no gum on the floor. Why is all the abortion clinics in the urban community? Black and Hispanic community. Look it up. It's to kill you so-called black and Hispanics off. Cursed shall you be in the city. Where's all the black and black and Hispanic Hispanic crimes? In our, in our communities. God says curse. Shall you be in the city? Read on. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed to be in the field. We were cursed to put what? Pick what? Cotton, tobacco, tobacco, or whatever. Um, what else? Some things. Sugar cane, rice, corn, cotton. All these things was curses placed upon us. We picked it in slavery, and you have it in South America. They're still picking sugar cane to this day. They are still slaves. Give me verse 30. Read on. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 30. Uh-huh. 
Thou shalt betroth a wife. You shall be betrothed for what me. Be promised a wife. Be done. And another man shall lie with her. And another man shall lie with her. Because what? When the conquistadors came over here, what did they do to the women? What did they do to the women? How did you get your complexions? Because at one point, everybody was dark skinned. At one point, everybody was dark skinned. But how do you get lighter complexions? Give me Hosea. It says. Okay. 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 India was abused and white people and white people was, was abused and raped. I can hear you speak up. It was abused and raped, mixed all together. Uh -huh. White people was abusing the Indian and the black and the Muslim. No respect. Okay. Read 28. And we're going to show you why a lot of you Hispanics are lighter skinned. There's some, we got some Hispanics that are dark skinned. And some Hispanics that are lighter skinned. Let's get the history of beyond the Bible. What make what show you why this happened? Read it. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 30. Uh huh. Thou shalt be told the wife. You shall be promised a wife, engaged to a wife. Read on. And another man shall lie with her. When the conquistadors came over, what did he do? He raped a woman. He killed off the men to destroy the nation, to destroy the Dominicans, to destroy the Puerto Ricans. The conquistadors raped the woman, just like with a black community. They took the woman. They raped the woman. We those our wives. We have no power over that. We have no power. That's why we're under the vice scripts of the Most High. We are under the curses of the Bible because we are the Israelites. Because we break God's laws, look at this. Sin is on our community. Because we break God's laws, we have this. You have Dominican. You have African American. These are not the titles that God called us. Read that again. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 30. Uh -huh. That shall be chopped a wife. You know what? And another man shall lie with her. You know what? That shall build a house. And that shall dwell. That shall not dwell therein. Guess who built America? Blacks and Hispanics. We built America. We shall build a house. And another man shall take our houses. We built the other one. The White House. How is there a black man building the White House and he called the White House? That's a smack in the face. Everything you see here was built for the black, the blood, sweat, and tears of you blacks and Hispanics. But let's get back to what? Another man lying with us. Give me Hosea 7 verse 11. Give me that. Hosea 7 verse 8. 7 verse 8. Uh -huh. Ephraim. Ephraim. You so called Hispanics. Ephraim, the northern kingdom of Israel. Ephraim was the Puerto Ricans, but he was the leader of the rest of the tribes. Ephraim represent you so called Hispanics, that Latinos. Anybody was the indig indigenous people of South, Central, North America. We know it. Ephraim, uh -huh. he hath mixed himself among the people. Ephraim, you so called Hispanics, mixed yourself amongst the people. The conquistadors came over and raped the women. And what? You guys mixed with them. They called them mestizos. Mestizos. What? They were mixed. But guess what? You know what? We're going to get into that. Uh -huh. Ephraim is a cake. Not turn! Uh -oh. Ephraim is a cake, not turn. Now, I'm gonna compare you to him. If you bake a cake, what side is the bottom and what side is the top? What do they look like? What color is the top of the cake and what color is the bottom of the cake? It's a little darker. It's a little darker. What color is the top of the cake? Lighter, right? Guess what? You're the, you're the bottom of the cake, you're the lightest, you're the on top of the cake. You'll be like the middle of the cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> read that again, Hosea 7 verse 8. Hosea 7 verse 8. Uh -huh. Ephraim, he hath mixed himself among the people. God says, you so-called Hispanic, mix yourself amongst the key people. When the conquistadors came over here and conquered the island of Hispaniola, conquered the island of Boricuan, conquered the, the North American Indians, you mix yourself amongst the people, the Spaniards, the conquistadors, the conquerors. Read on. Ephraim is a cake, not turn. You are, that's why you're somewhat dark and somewhat lighter. You're a cake, not turn. Read on. Strangers have devoured his strength. Strangers have devoured your strength. They took your nationality away from you. They called you another name. They took the Bible away from you. They said God was white. They said Christ was white. They said the Jews were white. But those are all lies according to the Bible. All lies. The strangers, the nations, the white man took away your strength. They took away your knowledge of self. They took away your nationality. And guess what? Read on. And he knoweth it not. And you don't even know it. 
How is it that the Hispanic person can't trace the history beyond 1492? How is that possible? How is it? What happened before 1492? How did you come to America? Does anybody with knowledge know? How did you come to America? Huh? Yeah. Immigrants. Huh? How? What about? Yeah. Did you say what? Immigrants. Immigrants? Yeah. No. But who? To the Americas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you come to the Americas? I never got an answer to that question, bro. But your desire, right? Yes. How did you come to America? How did I come here? How did your people come to the Americas? Slaves, right? Huh? Slaves, right? No, you were here before they came over. You came over. Remember, Jesus Columbus came over in 1492. But prior to that, you were already here. Right? So how did you come to America? Huh? The white people came also over here. Oh, no, no. You mean the Indians were there? Yes, you guys are here. You were here. Let's get the answer. Remember, the Bible is called the what? The Book of Life. It contains every detail and aspect of black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians life. This is your constitution, your photo album. Everything that we bring up is historical records and documents. The Bible bears witness with you, with you, with you. I don't know about you, but, but with the blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians, then what? We are the children of Israel. Now, let's get documented records. How do you come over to this side of the world? Read it. Second Ezra 13 and verse 40. Uh -huh. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. Those are the ten tribes. The ten tribes. Who consists of the ten tribes? You have, you have Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. You have Simeon, the so-called Dominicans. You have, you read that. You have Ephraim, got it. Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. You have Vanessa, the so-called Cubans, Simeon, the Dominican, so-called Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala to Panama, the ancient Mayans. You have the tribe of Gad, the North American Indians. You have Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Asher, Colombia to Uruguay, Issachar, the Mexicans, the Aztecs. You have Nathali, Argentinians and Chileans. Those are the 10 tribes. Those are the 10 tribes. Bible history. Bible records. Read on. Second Ezra 13 and verse 40. Uh -huh. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. Those were the ten tribes, the so-called Hispanics, that were carry away prisoners out of what the land of Jerusalem. So your homeland is Jerusalem. Read on. In the time of Hosea the king. Now we're going back to Bible history. If you don't know, I'm going to edify you in. Hosea the king was during the time when, during the Assyrian captivity. This was prior, this was the 722 BC. Hosea the king, whom Salamanser, the king of Assyria. Salamanser was one of your slave masters. The king of Assyria did what? Led away captive and carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. So you guys were carried what, into slave, brought to slavery and so over the waters to what? The lands of Assyria. You have um, in Kurdistan, all these areas, in the Medes. This is what, in, um, in the eastern side of the hemisphere. You were carrying away captives. Read on. But they took this council among themselves. Oh, now we're jumping to history. Now we're jumping into history. You must know the Bible. He said, but they did what? But they took this council among themselves. But the Hispanics, the Puerto Ricans for say, because the Puerto Ricans were the leaders of the northern kingdom of Israel, the rest of the tribes. But the Hispanics took this, in a, or the North American Indians took the council amongst themselves. 589 BC this happened. Okay. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. You said, but since we're relinquished from slavery, we've been freed from our oppressors. You said that what? We're gonna leave the land of the, the, the Eastern Hemisphere. We're gonna leave this area and do what? And go forth into a further country. You said we're gonna go forth into a further country, into another country. Where what? Where never mankind dwelt. Now this country has never been inhabited by any man on this earth. Now at that specific time period, yeah, the whole Eastern Hemisphere was inhabited. At one point, the whole world was together, right? Huh? At one point, the whole world was together. Like, like no, not that, not during that time. 
what I'm I mean. tried to mention for it, but the land was separated that time. No, no, I said at one point that, that everything was together. Then the everything island, was together? I, I believe, no? And, and, and oh. talk about the war. All right, let's read on. Right. Let's get back into this, sir. Read on. Verse 42. Uh -huh. That they might keep. That they, I mean, that they might they keep their statues. So you say, I'm going to go to a country where mankind never dwelt. When that mankind never inhabited, that you might do what? That they might there keep their statues. That you might keep the laws of God. Now look on this. The Taino Indians, the North American Indians, they were keeping God's laws. That's why you see the North American Indians on um, part of the garment. They have fringes. They have fringes on them. They were keeping God's laws. They were keeping God's laws. You were keeping God's laws. Read on. Which they never kept in their own land. You were not able to keep it in your own land because you were slaves. Everything what? Everything that your slave master taught you, you did it. Just like in America, women wear pants. Guess what? Because they follow after the slave master. We eat pork, shrimp. Because what? We follow after our slave masters. We go to church on Sunday. Why? But we follow after our slave masters. Everything that the blacks and Hispanics do in America is after our slave masters. Read on. And they entered into Euphrates. By the narrow passage uh -oh. of the river. So Bible history, read that again. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. We enter into Euphrates by the narrow passage of the rivers. Because when you look at the Euphrates River, it's a small path that goes into the Indian Ocean. We had to take a pathway to get what to um, go through that area. We know it. For the most high, then show signs for them. It has still the flood till they were passed over. So God showed signs. What is the sign? The stars of heaven. Because you have the Aztecs, the Mexicans, which were the tribe of Iskar. They had knowledge on how to read the stars. They used it as a navigational system. So they used the signs of the stars to navigate to the America. You know what? Well, through that country, there was a great way to go. There was a great way to go to the country where mankind never dwelt. You know what? Namely, of a year and a half. It took a whole year and a half to get to the side. Now let's look at geographical location. If we're coming from the land, but in the Middle East, say if they took a trip to, uh, let's see. Oh, this is, uh, where's the, right here. So we're in the Middle East, right? We decided, so say they decided to take a trip to go to Europe. Does it take them a year and a half to go to Europe? Would it take them a year and a half to go to Europe? No, because Europe is right there. Would it take them a year and a half to go to Africa? No, because Africa is right there. But what, how long did it take them to get to America? A year and a half. Because what? That's a long way to go. You got to go through the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean. You got to go all the way around the, co the continent of Africa. Through the Africa, you enter into the Atlantic Ocean. To the Atlantic Ocean, you got the South America, Central America, and North America. It took the North American Indians, the, the conquest of the Hispanics, a year and a half to get over to the side of the land. We don't. For through the country, for through that country, there was a great way to go. Uh -huh. Namely, of a year and a half. Namely, it took you a year and a half to come over here. We don't. In the same region, it's called Osiris. What is the region called? What is the region called? In the same region, it's called Osiris. What is the region Osiris called? What is the land that they went to call? Arsereth, right? That's what the Bible says, right? Now, let's get out of the Jewish encyclopedia. Uh -huh, we go. The reason he wants you to know what the name is is so you can go home and, go and research it yourself. This is the Jewish encyclopedia. This is jewishencyclopedia.com. It says, Arsereth, the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man, in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. Uh-huh. We, we just read that, right? This is the so-called Jew this is a Jewish encyclopedia. Who do people call the Jews? The white people. So they have this in their documents. They're not the true Jews, but they keep this information from you. Everything is there for you. But you must seek it out. You must search it. You must ask from your teachers. We are the teachers back again. To show you the answer. Show you who you are going to the Bible and bring it back. That's what I say.
all like them. The war was too bad for the people. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, I know. I know. I know. I know. JewishEncyclopedia.com, uh, Arzri, the name of the land beyond the great river, uh -huh. or away from the habitation of man, Biron. in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. The blacks of the Hispanics and the native North American Indians, any people of Indian descent, will dwell in the land of Arzri. Observing the laws of Moses. Observing God's laws, you Until the time of restoration. Until okay. wait, until the time of what? Restoration. Why do you why would it say until the time of restoration? What in order to restore something it has to be what? Dead. Showing that what? You guys are being restored. This is the time of restoration. And we're restoring you back to your nationality. Now you're not Hispanic. You're not white. You're not any of those titles that the white man gave it to you. You are the biblical Israelites. You black men are the Jews. We are the 12 tribes for the nation of Israel. That's we right. Know Until the time of restoration, uh -huh. according to 4th Ezra 1345. We just read that out of the Bible. We know it. Columbus. Wait, wait. Columbus, the man that you Hispanics reference so much. Christopher Columbus. Did you have an actual day to him? You go on the float, say, hey, Christopher Columbus. In the island of Hispaniola, you have a statue of him. That's your God. But read that again. Columbus identified America with this land. Columbus knew how to get over here. Columbus knew exactly who was over here. Columbus knew who you were. But now you don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. But that's why God's bring you back to your nationality. Give me 1 Kings 8 verse 40. Now, I've been talking for a long time. You probably got questions. Any questions? Sure? You have questions, bro? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm try, I try to figure out the whole situation. You know, I went to school. I know we know who this cover is, who, who, and who okay. did who, and it's a little confused. You know, yeah. the whole now. Where now listen to you. Uh, it's a little. We understand. I have to search. I have to you know. Okay. I have to like open more. I have to so, figure out uh, where I, where I'm from, where I'm going. You know. No praises, bro. Yeah. So okay. So according to the Bible, the prophecies, the history that was brought out, what is your nationality, sis? According to my prophecy? Uh, wait, my prophecy? Sis, don't do that to me, sis. Whose prophecies is this? Prophecies mean a future foretelling. Sis, I don't know what's going to happen in the next minute. I can't prophesy nothing. I prophesy according to the Bible. So according to the Bible, what's your nationality? Simeon, right? All praises. All praise. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Ephraim. Ephraim, all praises, bro. So according to the Bible, we must know what? What's our true nationality? How to come back and serve God. Give me 1 Kings 8, verse 47. So that's the first step. We brought some laws. You know that you're not supposed to eat what? The pig. You're not supposed to eat shrimp, scallop, all those unclean foods. You know that what? You're not supposed to wear pants. These are certain laws. There's much more laws out there that we're going to get into. But God has shown to the Israelites returning, being restored back to their nationality, what we must do. Because the Bible is a black and Hispanic book. It's time that we retake and claim what is ours. Because America is not the place of our rest. This is not for us. Give me after the, Micah 2 verse 10. Give me Micah 2 verse 10. The lot of you saying, you're fighting for rights. You're fighting to be an American citizen. You say, I am American. And God we trust, you wave the American flag. You trust in a nation that enslaved you. But look what God says, Micah 2 verse 10. Uh -huh. Micah 2 and verse 10. Uh -huh. Arise ye and depart. Arise and depart from America. His system, his philosophy, his religion. And return back as a nation of Israel. Return to your law, sis. Stop wearing pants. Thus saith the Lord God. I'm not saying this. Stop eating pork. Stop shaving your beard. That's the law we're going to bring out. You know what? For this is not your rest. God says this is not your rest. America is not the place where you're supposed to rest. America is the place where you're supposed to realize what you did wrong. Right now it says arise, but this is not your rest, right? Now get me, why were we brought to America? 1 Kings 8 verse 46. So if he's saying this is not a rest. What is this place meant for us? What is America to blacks and Hispanics? Read it. First Kings 8 and verse 46. Uh -huh. 
if they sin against thee. If we sin against God, sin is breaking God's laws. Sin, which we have sinned. Look at our community. We're in sin all over. Read on. For there is no man that sinneth not. We all sin. But what? By taking heed to God's laws, you don't sin anymore. We must grab hold to God's laws so we won't become sinful. So we won't just go after our own body's desires. We won't break the Sabbath. We won't have sex with multiple women. We won't have boyfriends and girlfriends. But that's not in the Bible. Marriage is in the Bible. So women won't dress like whores. Read it. And they'll be angry with them. Was God angry with you blacks and Hispanics? Is God angry with us? Look at our conditions. God is angry with us. Look what happened slavery. God was angry with us. Look at us. We're in the ghettos, in the slums. You go to China. You go to Europe. Blacks and Hispanics fill the ghettos in all the earth. God was very angry with blacks and Hispanics. Read on. And deliver them to the enemy. Who delivers us to the enemy? You. You're on. Who delivers us to the enemy? Huh? Who delivered the enemy? Yeah, who delivered us to the conquistadors? For God. God did. God delivered us to the enemy. Read that again. And delivered them to the enemy. God delivered us to the conquistadors. To America, the Portuguese, the Spaniards. Read on. So then, they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy. So we were carrying away captives. You have blacks who were carried from West Coast to Africa, to America. We will carry away captives into the land of the enemy. You, the Hispanics, also were carried to what? Europe, to Portugal. You were carried to Spain. You were still carried away captive. Read on. Far or near. Far or near. Read on. Yes. If they shall bethink themselves. If you shall bethink yourself. That's the whole purpose of being carried away captive to America. To be enslaved in America. To bethink ourselves. To remember ourselves. To restore ourselves back to the tribe of Ephraim. Back to the tribe of um, Simeon. Back to the tribe of Judah. Benjamin. Levi. To be think, to remember who we are. To come back to the historical records. That we are the biblical Israelites. Read on. Yes, we gotta change our minds. Read on. Yes! If they shall be thinking yes, yourselves. If you shall be thinking yourself, what you're doing right now. Read on. In the land where they were carried captives. Read on. And, and repent. And do what? And repent. 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 Read on. Stop sinning. And Stop make. breaking God's laws. Read on. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carry them captives. And we're supposed to make supplication. We're supposed to call these, these curses to remembrance. We're supposed to seek out our true nationality. We're supposed to say, okay, God, you enslaved our people. You did all this to us. What must I do to return back to you? What must we do to come back as a nation again? Because there is a recipe. God is going to do something for us when we return back to our nationality. We will go back home. We will get returned back to Jerusalem. And we will rule this earth again as the kings and princes of this earth. This whole world belongs to us. But what? What is God waiting for? For these so-called blacks and fans to get it together. To come back. To be restored. Read on. Say, we have sinned. And we shall say, we have sinned in the land of the enemy. Will you go home tonight? You make a prayer, said Most High. The your men that you sent out to me, they, re they told us, they brought me back to my nationality. They showed me what I was doing wrong. You gotta confess to the Most High what you've been doing wrong. But not confess it, but forsake it. Stop doing it. We're not gonna get out of our situation if you keep doing it. You want peace? You want justice for your people? Keep the laws of God. You want retribution? Keep God's laws. Be on. And have done perversely. We have committed Wickedness! We all committed wickedness. I was I was a whoremonger. I used to smoke weed. I used to go clubbing. I used to get drunk. But God says not to smoke weed. He says not to get over no not to get drunk. He says for me not to go sex in my sisters. For me not to go in the clubs. But for me to return and be the man that God told me to be. Huh? What? Ah, we knew he was gonna get that sin out of you. Weed is not meant to be smoked. No, it's a medicine. It's a plant not to be smoked. The Negro, the Hispanic, invented that, smoking the marijuana. And they would make the excuse saying that, oh, it's to carry God, come on. Nigga, you don't got God, come on. So what you talking about? Damn liar. Be on. And so return unto thee with all their heart. What did God say to do what? And so return. What did God say to do? 
Be that again. And so return unto thee with all their heart. Stop. What did God say to do? What did God say to do? To return. You're not going to find God in these churches. You're not going to find them. You're going to find God in the Bible. We're going to teach you how to come back. We're here. We're going to finish that. The next brother's going to edify you. And that. so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. We're supposed to return in the land of enemy. We're sent into America for punishment. To think what? To get it right. This is our time to get it right. That's why Christ died for us. That's the mercy and grace given to you. So we got a chance to get it right now. This is the second chance we have. We have a second chance. This is our second chance. You know what? We send them away captive uh -huh. and pray unto these towards, unto thee toward the land. And we're supposed to pray towards the east. Our land is Jerusalem. Our land is not America. Our land is not Spain. You know what? Which that gave us unto their father. Because God gave us the land of Jerusalem, the motherland, where all life consists of. Read on. The city which that has chosen. Because God the, chose Jerusalem for us. Read on. In the house which I have built for thy name. Uh huh. That's it. And God built the house of Israel for us. Let's put something in place so when it comes to us, we can hope. This truth is about building the name. 